Hello, my name is Derek Kinder, and I'm a hydraulic engineer with the Risk Management Center. In this video, we are going to discuss precipitation frequency and prior distributions for quantiles. This lecture will provide a refresher on understanding of regional precipitation frequency. It will provide an understanding of Bayesian prior distributions for quantiles, and you will learn how to use precipitation frequency information to inform quantile prior distributions in a Bayesian estimation analysis. Regional precipitation frequency pools data from many gauges in a region to gain the effect of a larger sample size, which is an example of trading space for time. Precipitation gauge sites get a random sample of the overall meteorology in a given area. And these observations are used to complete statistical analyses to estimate depth, duration, frequency curves with uncertainty. The most common source of precipitation frequency information in the United States is NOAA Atlas 14, Precipitation Frequency Atlas of the United States, which supersedes many existing estimates. Quantile prior inputs are entered in the properties window of a Bayesian estimation analysis under the general tab. Start by clicking on the enable priors on quantiles checkbox. When this box is checked, an additional menu will appear with a default AEP value and a default set of distribution parameter values. The default option is a single quantile. To enter multiple quantiles, uncheck the Use Single Quantile checkbox. The correct number of quantiles will automatically be created by the software. The number of quantiles can be equal to 1 or equal to the number of parameters for the selected distribution. For LP3 distributions, this is 3. Whether you are entering a single prior or multiple priors, the drop-down list is used to select the AEP value which can range from 1 in 10 to 1 in 10,000. The next step is to enter the inflow volume distribution parameters for each quantile prior. In this example, we already checked the enable priors on quantiles checkbox, unchecked the use single quantile checkbox, and entered our three AEP values from the drop-down list. Distribution inputs for each quantile can be accessed by clicking on the distribution box next to the AEP. This opens a new window where the user can select a distribution type and enter the distribution parameters. The default normal distribution type is the only distribution currently available in version 1.0 of BestFit. The user can now enter the estimated mean and standard deviation estimates for the inflow volume at the selected AEP. The quantile prior distributions are plotted with a rectangle symbol to show the mean value and error bars to show the 90% confidence interval based on a normal distribution. After all of the quantile prior distributions are entered, we are ready to run the Bayesian analysis by clicking the Estimate button. Once the Bayesian analysis is complete, we can compare the result with and without the quantile prior distributions. In this example, we can see that including the quantile prior distributions resulted in a small reduction in the skew parameter and a reduction in the uncertainty, which resulted in a reduction in the width of the credible interval. 
The reduction in uncertainty also causes the posterior predictive curve to shift about a half order of magnitude to the right at the three-day PMF volume. You should now have an understanding of regional precipitation frequency analysis, an understanding of prior distributions for quantiles, and know how to use precipitation frequency information to inform quantile prior distributions in RMC best fit.